Hi, thank you, Mike, and hello, everyone. And I'm so glad we're gathered around this virtual table here to discuss what is a critical issue, but really to launch what I think will be a game-changing report and action plan. Mike, I just have to say, I wanna thank you and Freedom House. You've really been transformative in documenting and measuring the health of democracy and freedom around the world. It was vital reading for me and all my public roles at State Department and the White House and the UN and to this day. And they're always ahead of the curve and an early warning system and a clarion call, so thank you. And I have to mention Dr. Hamre and the team from CSIS, your work is extraordinary. Uh, one example is John's podcast, The Engine Room of Democracy. I love it. It really gets into the nitty gritty hard work and the champions are trying to build democracy in the institutions and throughout all the infrastructure that's necessary to have a healthy democracy we can all be proud of. I also wanna thank Paul Fagan, who represents the McCain Institute on the task force for his great work on this. As you heard from Cindy, she and Senator McCain long ago jumped into the arena on the front lines to fight and build uh, for democracy at home and abroad. They have the battle scars, but also the confirmation of living for a cause much bigger than their own lives. And as Cindy said, Senator McKay never shrank from the hard battle. And I was just reminded today as everyone was speaking of his quote, Americans never quit, we never surrender, we never hide from history, we make history. And I've always said in my roles in government, if we want to lead, we have to bend the arc of history toward freedom. And often that's a hard choice because I think there's a natural instinct among many leaders to want to control and to want to control the ideas and the operations and the functions of government. But this bold American experiment is something worth fighting for and something that has brought prosperity and innovation and ideas that have transformed the face of public health and education throughout the world, farming and agriculture and engineering. This is something worth fighting for. Um, to succeed, we have to be all in. We have to think bold and big and act with principle and convic conviction and resources. And we have to walk the talk of our values. And I think this report really is the right report for this moment. It's filled with very practical bipartisan vision and action plans as we've heard today, but I've read every word of it. Every word's meaningful. Um, it also, introduces, I think, some important new ideas. I just wanna to touch briefly on the things that I haven't heard laid out the way they are in this report. First of all, the comprehensive approach from diplomacy to economics and trade, elections, internet technology, uh, institution building, development aid, and then embedding those with bold action plans that are doable and achievable. Um, it explores underexplored areas, uh, one that Alex has championed and he mentioned today, such as walking our talk in development aid. And when I headed the UN World Food Program, I saw the power of activating. We had more than 10,000 women advising us at the village level all over the world. They can unlock keys to have more uh, uh, effective, efficient aid, but also to reduce dependency on aid. And I think allowing them to be part of that process, I've seen from Afghanistan throughout Africa and Latin America and everywhere, often it's the first time their opinion has ever been sought, but that taste of being part of decision-making, of owning the future of their lives and their village and their country, it's really something that they never forget. And it, that empowerment is something that I think is very powerfully taught through the way we do aid. And I, I think those ideas are important. Also, a third point I wanna make is at the McCain Institute, we've been deeply concerned about the handshake between generations, the passion for freedom and leadership in democracy, making sure that the champions are coming forward. And I think the report really speaks powerfully to the places where the front lines of that battle on social media, on the dark web, on the internet, 
and really activating the new champions that are stepping forward in countries all over the world to fight this battle. And fourth, but not last, as Cindy said, our own house has to be in order. And there's things we're not proud of, we need to do better, but we, you know, I know we're all committed to the kind of ideas in the report where we don't shy away from the profound challenges we have, and I commend the report for that. So I think this is a blueprint for action. I wanna thank everyone, and I wanna remind everyone of one more John McCain quote, which he said, be a pain in the ass for the cause and values worth fighting for. So go forth. <laughs> Let's be a pain in the ass for democracy and freedom and fighting this cause. And again, thank you. We're really proud at the McCain Institute to be part of this task force and this blueprint for action.